I know how much you admire Thomas Jefferson. What is it about Jefferson that it's inspires your admiration and respect? I think two things about Jefferson. Number one, he's a highly civilized man in the best sense of the word. He's educated, his mind is open, and he's constantly absorbing knowledge. Number two, he is a very humble man. There's great humility in him. The example I give is his tombstone. And he's, he writes the copy, the narrative, and he doesn't even mention that he was the president of the United States. He just takes great pride in the fact that he created a university and that he brought in the notion of religious pluralism in the statute for religious freedom in, in Virginia. You get a glimpse of the man there. And uh, I think that we are very fortunate we had a man like that who was then responsible for the declaration and partly for the constitution. I know you've shared this already, but would you share one more time, just for our audience here, uh, the statue of Jefferson at University of Virginia in Charlottesville? Well, one of the things that really struck me and impressed me, and my American team, remember I'm traveling with uh, about four or five Americans, young Americans, was the fact that there's a statue of Jefferson outside his university, alongside an angel. The angel is carrying a tablet. The tablet says, it's marked right on top, 1786, religious freedom. And I asked all my colleagues and friends when we were seeing that statue to think of that year, 1786, and ask themselves what was happening in the world then. You had kings in Europe who believed they were descended from the sun. You had emperors in Japan and China who believed they were descended from, the, from God and from this, um, some one planet or the other planet, but they, were all, they all had belief in their divine uh, descent as distinct from the rest of the population. And here at that time is a man reflecting the other founding fathers, Washington and so on, who is envisioning a society of tolerance, of pluralism, of acceptance, because that tablet then goes on to re recite the names of God in these religions, it says God, for the Christians, Yahweh for the Jews, Allah for Muslims, Brahma for Hindus. And I was saying, my God, even if he had said God, Yahweh for the Jews, and Allah, I would have been amazed because how many Muslims lived in Monticello then? But he even includes the Hindus. He's really saying that this is a new world, it's a new vision of society. And we have to create a world which will become a model for the rest of the world. You know, this is a new, new world when they say, America was a new world. This is what they meant. They didn't mean uh, only technology or technological advances or military advances. They meant the philosophy of a state, the philosophy of a society. So I'm always very inspired by that uh, image of Jefferson. And not surprised, it is Jefferson after all. <laughs> أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله Hi, I'm